We're trying to dig a hole、um, under LA, and this is to create the beginning of what will hopefully be a 3D network of tunnels to alleviate congestion. You've brought、uh, with you the first visualization that's been shown of this. Can we?、Yeah. Can I show this? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the first time. Yeah, we're, we're, just to sort of show what we're talking about. So that there are a couple of key things that are important in having、um, a 3D tunnel network. First of all, you have to be able to integrate the entrance and exit of the tunnel seamlessly into the fabric of the city. So, by having a an, an elevator, sort of a, a sort of a, a car skate that's on on an,、uh, an elevator, you can integrate the entrance and exits、uh, to the tunnel network、oh、just by using two parking spaces.、Um, and then the car gets on a skate. There's no speed limit here, so、uh, we're designing this to be. Uh, able to operate at 200 kilometers an hour, about 130, 200 kilometers an hour, or about 130 miles per hour.、Uh, so you should be able to get from, say,、uh, Westwood to LAX in six minutes. There's no real limit to how many levels of, tr- of tunnel you can have. So you can go much further deep than you can go up. The deepest mines are much deeper than the tallest buildings are tall. So you can alleviate any. Arbitrary level of urban congestion、uh, with with a 3D tunnel network. This is a very important point. So, a key rebuttal to the t- tunnels is that if you add、uh, one layer of tunnels, then that will simply alleviate congestion. It'll get used up, and, and and then you'll be back where you started, back with congestion. But you can go to any arbitrary number of tunnels, any number of levels. But people seem traditionally it's, it's incredibly expensive to dig, and that would block this idea. Yeah. Um, well, they're, they're right. To give you an example, the LA subway extension,、uh, which is, a, I think it's a two and a half mile extension, that was just completed for two billion dollars.、Um, so, it, yeah, it's quite difficult to dig tunnels normally. I think we need to have at least a tenfold improvement in the cost per mile of tunneling. And how could you achieve that? I guess.、Uh, Actually, if, if you just do two things, you can get to approximately an order of magnitude improvement,、uh, and, and I think you can go beyond that. So the the first thing to do is to cut the tunnel, tunnel diameter、uh, by a factor of two or more. So, to, so a single road lane tunnel, would,、uh, the, uh, according to regulations, has to be 26 feet, maybe 28 feet in diameter, to allow for crashes and emergency vehicles、um, and sufficient ventilation、uh, for、uh, combustion engine cars. But if you if you shrink that diameter to what, what, what we're attempting, which is 12 feet, which is plenty to get an electric skate through,、uh, you drop the、uh, the diameter by a factor of two and the cross-sectional area by by a factor of four. So、uh, and the, the tunneling cost scales with the cross-sectional area. So that's roughly a half order of magnitude improvement right there. Then tunneling machines、uh, currently tunnel for half the time, then they stop, and then the, the rest of the time is putting in reinforcements for the tunnel wall. So if you have if you design the machine instead to do continuous tunneling and reinforcing, that'll give you a factor of two improvement. Combine that, and it's a factor of eight.、Uh, also, these machines are far from at being at their their power or thermal limit. So you can jack up the power to the machine substantially. I think you can get at least a factor of two, maybe a, a factor of four or five improvement on that, on top of that. So you've got this vision then: future cities with these these rich. 3D networks of, of tunnels, but、uh, a lot of people imagining, dreaming about future cities. They imagine that the, actually the solution is is、um, sort of flying cars, drones, etc. You you take you go above ground. I'm in favor of flying things. Obviously, I do rockets, so I, and I like things that fly. This is not some inherent bias against flying things, but th- th- there is a challenge with flying cars in that they they'll be quite noisy.、Uh, the the wind force generated will be very high.、Uh, they There's,、um, let's just say that if something's flying over your head, if there are a whole bunch of flying cars going all over the place,、um, that is not an, exi- an, an anxiety-reducing、uh, <laughs> situation.、Um, you don't think to yourself, "Well, I feel better about today."、Um, <laughs> you're thinking, like, did they service their hubcap, or is it going <laughs> to come off and guillotine me as they're flying past? <laughs>